Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. What I have here is the Southern Grind Bad Monkey. Uh, first I've heard of this was from uh, Knife Thursday. I think uh, the boys might have been talking about it. And then I checked out the website, Southern Grind, and they had a couple of these knives. Um, I picked this up at Razor Sharp and Limited, uh, who hosted the uh, knife gathering this weekend at, uh, in Florida for Knife Thursday. And uh, I was checking out a bunch of uh, the knives there at the store. The proprietor is Dave. And uh, I had the unique experience of actually getting to test out knives. You know, most of the time, uh, and if you're lucky enough to live in a state where uh, knife stores are everywhere, you guys are not uh, strange to this experience. But I was actually able to pick out the knife I wanted. You know, he had a bunch of these. And I tested out the one that felt right the most to me and looked the most perfect to me. <laughs> Which is definitely a unique experience because most of the time I just buy it, I get what I get from the online store, and that's it. Either you're you're happy with it or you send it back. But in this case, I was able to examine the knife, uh, flip it, I mean flip it, open it, check it for smoothness, check it for centering, check it for feel to see if I actually like the feel of the knife. Um, even do some cut tests with it. So that was that was pretty unique. So that was a great experience. And if you guys, uh, that's normal to you guys, you guys are so lucky. You don't realize that that's just so awesome. It also might also uh, uh, basically influence whether you buy the knife or not buy the knife. Uh, and this one of the knives that most people probably hesitate to buy because maybe of the steel. But because I got to, you know, check it out. Um, and I love this crazy tonneau shape. I was just sold instantly. Uh, let's go over some specs on it. Oh, let me just show you. This is the, it doesn't come in a box. It, it basically comes wrapped up in this uh, leather koozie. So it's like that. You get it like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You don't get it in a box. So you get this uh, keychain thing here. You get the power cord. And then you get this uh, koozie for your uh, cold beverage. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So it's leather lined with some kind of a cooling system so that's pretty cool I thought that was pretty cool so yeah so let's go over the specs on this thing this uh, the handle is carbon fiber it's a twill weave carbon fiber uh, it's got uh, texturing on it with this uh, it's not I mean it might look shiny here but it's got like a matte finish so it's kind of I wouldn't say it's rough but it's got a grippy grippy texture to it Give you guys a close up on the handle. You know, so it's a real carbon fiber. It's not like a laminate over G10. You might even be able to see the layering. There you go. You see the layering on it. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, very tactical, this blade. I opted for the uh, black Cerakote on the blade. Um, the liners, let me open this up. Is titanium. It's a 6AL4V, so it's a common uh, titanium that most knife, knife makers today use. Uh, it's a liner lock, as you guys can see. The blade steel, again, this is the issue that most people have. It's 14C28N, which is basically Sandvik steel. The N is the nitrogen that they added to the blade. From what I understand, from what I've talked to uh, blade made, uh knife makers out there that's a decent steel it's not the best steel um, it has the nitrogen to you know to add in the corrosion and the corrosion resistance and also makes the blade uh, tougher harder right but easier to sharpen um, as you guys know in my other video Sandvik steel is typically used for like um, uh, surgical tools you know and those have to be super sharp uh, it also is what they use in the skylines. So if you got a skyline uh, and you're happy with the blade steel, it's basically the same steel. It might be a little, it's a little bit thicker than the skyline steel. Uh, tanto shape. Uh, I opted, they had uh, at Razor Sharp and Limit, they had a couple of different uh, available blades. Uh, they had the, um, I believe it was a satin finish. I opted for, it might have been a satin stone wash. I opted for this uh, Cerakote because uh, I like the Cerakote. Not only does it help protect the steel and extend the life of the blade, uh, if you guys have Cerakote or DLC coated blades, you know it also helps with the stickiness. Some of the blades 
I'm not going to lie, some of the blades that were not coated in Cerakote of the Bad Monkey were a little bit sticky. And you might even still hear a little bit of here. They're going to be, uh, the newer versions of it, they're going to be, uh, I heard they're going to be changing it. They might even be changing the steel to, I heard, S30VN. So if you, gotta, if you guys want to wait for that, you can get the, the different, better blade steel. But I opted for this uh, Cerakote. Let's just take a look at this uh, armor black Cerakoted unique Tonto shape light. I just fell in love with the shape of this thing. You can see the edge right there. It's very, very sharp. And the Tonto, this is sharp, sharpened also, as well as this part. It's very sharp. I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a Tonto guy. I love Tonto shape blades and I just fell in love with it right away. It's also got this, uh, you see there, this Emerson Wave feature, which some of you guys just love. So it's licensed by Emerson to get this uh, Wave feature in there. Overall length is about 9 inches, a little over 9 inches, 9.1 inches. Uh, the blade length is about 3.9 inches, almost 4 inches on the blade. 3.875 to be exact. The weight is about 5 ounces. Um, it's got this pretty neat short pocket clip. My only uh, criticism is that it's not sitting flush, but it actually works well. I wish it would just sit a little closer to the blade handle. I'm not crazy about this sticking out that far. Maybe I can get Nick to like... Uh, sand this down because I already got it caught a few times he could probably like sand it down for me uh what else yeah that's about it I mean it's a cool knife oh let me show you a comparison uh, I got a Sebenza 25 just to get you guys get a size comparison so it's a little bit bigger than the Sebenza 25 It's got this neat little uh, their monkey logo. Looks like a dead monkey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Standoffs are not titanium, they're steel. But they're also uh, coated in black. I'm not sure if that's Cerakote. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, and the titanium is uh, also coated in black. Lockup is pretty decent. Looks about, not quite, about maybe 35-40%. Um, so these are only available pretty much from Southern Grind. You go to their website. Uh, they list this for, I believe this one, the Tonto one is listed for 220 So it's actually pretty reasonable for what you're getting. I know the steel, I know the knock of the steel, but you are getting carbon fiber. You're getting titanium liners and, uh, you know, the liner locks titanium. It's a decent sized blade. And again, if it's hit or miss. You can either love or hate the steel. But if you do, for 220 it's not bad. And actually, you can also get it at Dave's shop, Razor Sharp Unlimited. Give him a call. He might be able to do better than uh, what um, Southern Grind is doing. Tell him you want that tariff fanatic discount. <laughs> and make sure he gives you that discount. <laughs> So you might get a deal with it if, if you're interested. Uh, they have different shapes. They also have a drop point. So they have a drop point, the Tonto. They have it Cerakoted or not Cerakoted. But yeah, so Southern Grind Bad Monkey. Finally got to check it out. Feels pretty good in hand. Uh, really no hot spots, even though that clip gets stuck like in my jeans. But um, oh, not too bad. And it's super tactical. Look at that. Very nice. Love it. So yeah, check it out. I mean, do the research yourself. Go to Southern Ground website and see what they're selling for. Or again, if you want to wait for the better steel, you know, maybe you can shoot them an email. Oh, that's another thing. The hardware is proprietary, so you might unfortunately need one of their tools, which you can order at Southern Grind. Dave is supposed to be sending me one. Is he hooking me up? So, yeah, these are very tiny, actually. 
yeah, pivots proprietary. So if I had to adjust it, I would have to buy that tool, except for the clip. Clip is Torx. All right, folks, peace.